Hello everyone, in this part, we're going to try and figure out what is the additive and multiplicative inverses of a certain number in terms of modules. Let's first work on the additive inverse. Recall that if the sum of two numbers is zero, then the numbers are additive inverses of each other. Say for example, we have positive 8. What do you think is the additive inverse of this number? Remember that we have to get 0 as a result when adding two certain numbers. So, the certain number that could be added technically is negative 8. Obviously, when you add positive 8 to negative 8, the answer is 0. For instance, 8 plus negative 8 is equal to 0. We can conclude here that 8 is the additive inverse of negative 8 and negative 8 is the additive inverse of 8. This should be the so-called additive inverse. The same concept applies in modular arithmetic. For example, 3 plus 5 is congruent to 0 mode 8. Thus, in mode 8 arithmetic, 3 is the additive inverse of 5 and 5 is the additive inverse of 3. Here we consider only those whole numbers smaller than the modulus. Note that 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. That is the sum of a number and its additive inverse equals the modulus. Using this fact, we can easily find the additive inverse of a number for any modulus. For instance, in mode 11 arithmetic, the additive inverse of 5 is 6 because 5 plus 6 equals 11. Let me give you another example to answer. Find the additive inverse of 3 in mode 10 arithmetic. How do we make 10 from 3? You just have to add 7 to make it up to 10. Therefore, in mode 10 arithmetic, 3 plus 7 equals to 10 which means that the additive inverse of 3 is 7 and also the additive inverse of 7 is 3. Try to answer this on your own. Find the additive inverse of 4 in mode 9 arithmetic. So, let's move on to multiplicative inverse. Not too bad, it's a bit different. If the product of two numbers is 1, then the numbers are multiplicative inverses of each other. For example, 4 times 1 fourth equals 1. So 4 is the multiplicative inverse of 1 fourth and 1 fourth is the multiplicative inverse of 4. The same concept applies to modular arithmetic. Although the multiplicative inverses will always be natural numbers. For example, in mode 7 arithmetic, 5 is the multiplicative inverse of 3, and 3 is the multiplicative inverse of 5 because 5 times 3 is congruent to 1 mode 7. Here we will concern ourselves only with natural numbers less than the modulus. To find the multiplicative inverse of A mode M, Solve the modular equation Ax is congruent to 1 mode m for x. Let me give you an example to answer. In mode 9 arithmetic, find the multiplicative inverse of 5. To find the multiplicative inverse of 5, solve the equation 5x congruent to 1 mode 9 by trying different natural number values of x less than the modulus. So, 5x is congruent to 1 mode 9. Try to solve when x is equal to 1. Is 5 times 1 congruent to 1 mode 9? The answer is no because 5 minus 1 over 7 will result to 4 over 7, which is not a natural number. As I said a while ago, multiplicative inverses will always be natural numbers. Anyway, to go through, Try to solve another where x is equal to 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, so is 10 congruent to 1 mode 9? The answer is yes because 10 minus 1 over 9 will result to 9 over 9 or 1, which is now a natural number. Therefore, we can conclude that in mode 9 arithmetic, the multiplicative inverse of 5 is 2. Try to answer this on your own. Find the multiplicative inverse of 3 in mode 8 arithmetic.
So that's all for additive and multiplicative inverses in modular arithmetic.